many of the factors that we've just covered have also contributed to the expansion of non-traditional employment. Independent contractors, freelancers, on-call workers, temporary workers, and contract workers. All of these people make up what is called the gig economy, and they all have unique training needs. Traditionally, though, organizations invested in their full-time employees and left part-timers out of the training equation altogether. Today, some business models, like those of Maryville University and ride-sharing services like Uber and Lyft, rely on non-traditional employees. And so their business strategies must at least consider at some level the developmental needs of this workforce. The academic and professional literature suggests that this particular group benefits most from training that is highly specialized and highly relevant to their jobs, training that is available 24 seven from any location and training that is delivered in smaller micro sessions as opposed to the traditional hour long lecture. There are a lot of different things going on outside of an organization that impact the learning that happens inside the organization. On the very last slide, I want to mention just a few of the organizational characteristics that can impact training and development. 